Hey everybody, this is Sala and you're watching Smart Code. Today we are going to work more than one form and we will learn how to show form 2 as a dialog from the form 1. As you can see in my project, I have two forms, form 1 and form 2. Form 1 with green background and form 2 with blue background, right? And form 1 is also my main form. As you can see in pgram.css file, uh, form 1 is attached to the application. So as I close the form 1, the entire application goes down. So our job is to display the form 2 on the form 1. Form 1 has a button and we will program inside the button click event. Now the first thing uh, that we need here is form 2 object. We are inside the form 1 and from here we want to access the form 2. Now remember one thing, form is just a class. As you can see here, form 1 is a class derived from the base class. Right, so in order to access another class, we always need its object, and this part is necessary. So we are going to first uh, create an uh, object of form two. Like this. So we have now an object or the reference variable to the second form. Here comes the interesting part. In c .net, you can display another form as dialog in one of two ways. Number one is modeless dialog and number two is modal dialog right so there is no other way we can only show form either as modeless dialog or modal dialog and the difference between these two is significant and you will learn in a couple of minutes for modeless dialog we use the method show and for modal dialog we use the method show dialog right so let's study both the method one by one uh, to the form object we will first apply the show method like this now the second form will appear as modeless dialog let's run the program so here is our form one and as i click on the button show form two you can see form two displays itself now here i want you to listen very carefully the modeless dialog establishes no relationship with the creator form one is the creator of this dialog but they have no relationship in between as soon as form two shows itself the control returns back to its creator in our case the creator is form one right so the form two is open but the control is here and that's why we are able to close the form one leaving the form two behind now you can see i am able to close the form one right so the show method is modeless and on the other hand show dialog method is opposite to the show method so let's now apply the show dialog method now the form 2 will be shown as modal dialog so let's run the program and start it so here we have the form 1 now click on the button and here you see the form 2 right so now we have form 2 shown as modal dialog and a modal dialog establishes a relationship with its creator and that relationship is called owner and owned so the form 1 is the owner and form 2 is the owned and when this relationship is established form 2 does not return the control back to the form 1 and that means you cannot close the form 1 as you can see I am unable to close the form 1 and you can't even interact with the form 1 so the control is only goes back to the form 1 when you close the form 2 right so this is how modal dialog behaves it establishes a relationship with its creator and that relationship is called owner and owned so my friends that was a simple tutorial and we learn how to show another form as dialog i hope it will help you out in your projects i will see you around and thanks for watching